This storm system brought lots in the way of damage and unfortunately fatalities to New England as it pushed ashore as only one of three major hurricanes to make landfall uh, in parts of New England. So it made a first landfall in Long Island, but let's first talk about early on that Wednesday morning back in 1938. The storm was a category four storm east of Cape Hatteras. It then accelerated, actually interacted with the cold front in the jet stream. It was moving roughly 50 miles per hour, which is very, very fast for a tropical cyclone. Now the landfall on Long Island, the initial landfall Landfall between 2:10 and 2:40 p.m. That's when we started to see, uh, really see things across the region start to deteriorate. As we can see, some of these wind gusts, Blue Hill Observatory, yes, a little higher up in the atmosphere, sustained winds 121 miles per hour, gusting to nearly 200 miles per hour. Block Island as well, sustained winds at 91 miles an hour, gusting to 121. The storm surge with this large system was 12 to 15 feet above our normal high tide levels, and of course, the storm did provide lots in the way of damage throughout New England all the way up through Quebec. Now, the big reason why this was such a strong hurricane is because of its path and its size. Now, the right front quadrant of a hurricane is the most dangerous. The winds, tornadoes, storm surge and flooding all are maximized there. Now, landfall with winds around 120 miles per hour and the movement 47 miles per hour to the north. That right front quadrant had estimated winds of 167 miles per hour. We did see that come into fruition in Blue Hill. So a very destructive storm and of course the path and didn't even help Molly that this storm hit at astronomical high tide too. So it did maximize on that flooding potential.